Great win, boss. Up, MP. Thank 
in MP. All wise, Richard, on the guard matchup in this one with two incredible talents going head to head. And we've been really spoiled with all of these guards that we get to watch. The league today has as much talent at the one and two as it ever has. A shot by Curry, no good. Now Rogier. Ball from long range. Thompson with the rebound. Fires from deep. The Hornets pull it in. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. And it's Rozier missing. Golden State's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Thompson. Curry's got his team on the board to start the game for the Warriors. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. Here's Hayward. Now the pass to Washington. Now Rozier. He's covered by Thompson. Charlotte no good that time either. A cold start for them. Three shots, three misses. Good thing it's early. GA with their fourth title, the combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green, the single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. The most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. Because of his footwork and fundamentals, Thompson always looks on balance and does a great job of squaring his shoulders. Pass to Hayward. Let's it go from deep. Amon Green with the rebound. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to start the game with four straight misses. Look, look, that's about as rough as it gets. It'll get going soon. And Green slams it in. Well, the grimace of pain tells it all. He's hurt, and let's hope he's okay. Yeah, it looks like he's in real pain. Definitely a concern right now. 
Look, I'm no doctor, and I know that might be a surprise to a lot of you people, but look, that looked pretty hard. Come on, Epi. Some extended time. Baller, who's checked in for P.J. Washington. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. Passes it to Hayward. Pass to Ball. Just five on the clock. To end the run. The shot is good off the backboard. And one thing you can say with MP, Greg, and if he belongs on an NBA floor, he certainly passes the eye test. And that's always how MP has been as a player. The, the raw numbers don't jump out at you, but you can see his impact on the floor. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Plumley. Curry dishes to Thompson. Green kicks to Wiggins. Takes the three. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it'll be the first of only two meetings between the teams. As a player, these ones are fun. You get to match up with guys you rarely see. And now the first time. He's checked in for Wiseman. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Green. 
Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. And Poole subbed in for Stephen Curry. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Moment here now for an injury report. Let's check in with David Aldridge for an injury update on P.J. Washington. David. Well, guys, I had a minute to catch up with the Hornets' head athletic trainer. He said it appears to be a moderate wrist sprain. This is not how they want it to begin the season, and it'll be interesting to see how much this hurts them. Kevin? Okay, Dave, thanks. Sounds like uh, he won't be out for too long. Thompson against Oubre. The three ball. And the three ball is good. A, a legitimate sniper from distance. Love seeing Oubre Jr. shoot it with such precision. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Kevin, Steve Clifford gave me a few minutes before the game. Defensively, he wants his guys to protect the rim and do everything they can to push the offense out to the perimeter. He told me, if we can do that, I feel good about our chances. Now, guys, obviously, that's a tall order. All right, thank you, David. Ludzo passes the ball. Down low. That shot off the mark. Great tee that time from Green. DiVincenzo kicks to Poole. Back to DiVincenzo. The kick out to Poole. They get it again. There's the pass to Thompson. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And there's Poole on the assist by Thompson. Nice feed by Thompson. Most of the time, Clay either shoots or passes it. Doesn't really dribble that much. Here's Baller, and he uses the glass on the layup. Baller's got his second bucket of the game to go. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Here's Thompson, and the baseline jumper no good. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Here's Ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Greg, we know from time to time things get pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, you know, guys tended to talk a little trash, and that could rattle you. Right? That could bother you at times, but you really just tried to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the prize. The guard pair, Ball and Rogier. Oubre out there with Hayward. And it's Baller in its center. So that's who Charlotte starts the second with. 
ball, the pass to ball. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Six points for Baller. And there's one aspect of the game LaMelo's not going to ignore. Keeping his teammates involved and the offense working as a unit. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Outside, Ball. Here's Baller. He's covered by Wiseman. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Baller. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry, his loyalty. Sticking with this Warriors franchise since being drafted back in 09. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Baller. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And talking about Steph, he is the face of the franchise. And his loyalty is shown. Steph's been a model citizen, never complains, never causes any issues, willing to work with his teammates. He is the ideal superstar to build around. Mm, mm, mm. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it. That was ferocious. Here's Baller. He's covered by Wiseman. Baller, that's good. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Warriors leading by six. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Wiseman, no good. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. It's good. Baller's got ten points in the quarter. And really exemplifies who Hayward is. A team player, someone who enjoys spotting his open teammate. Curry on the wing. He's covered by ball. Kaminga, no good. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. Four-point game. They host the Kings after this game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Baller, that's good. I'll be honest, he's having a better quarter than a lot of my... nights back when I played. Curry looking it over. To the inside. And Wiseman gets it to go on the assist by Curry. Curry's got... Be ready. This is 
Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. For so long, the Golden State Warriors were waiting to be back at full strength. But when one guy comes back, it seems like another goes down. The injury bug has been a real challenge for them. Takes it from 10. Moutier, no good. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. D.A., thanks. 40 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Moutier passes to Bledsoe. And again, the Hornets missing. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. And those are the type of shots that just drive coaches crazy. Look, I wouldn't be shocked to see him sitting on the bench if he tries that bad boy again. Here's Moutier. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Bledsoe outside. Shoots over DiVincenzo. And so that's the end of the first half. Warriors lead by six. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Hey, folks, welcome to the Halftime Show. A lead right now in this one for Golden State. When you move the ball, it gets people in the flow and leaves the defense scrambling. Precision effort by them in the first half. I don't know if they can play much better, but we're about to find out. All right, now let's check out what the fans are saying on social media. This one coming to us from Ball Around Town. Some players have lucky pregame routines. But do you guys have any pre-broadcast routines that you swear by? Huh? Fellas, what do you think? Yeah, I look at Ernie and say, Ernie, thanks for coming to my house in 1989. <laughs> I look at Kenny and I say, spell it, tough guy, and that means I'm going to have a great show. Well, I don't have any pre-game rituals. I know I do. I go and I give everyone a high five around the studio. Yeah. Hey, high fives, everybody. Come and, on. And you, and you dance. Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> and, and we all look at each other, and if we're close enough, we, we, all, we all give we each all other dap. dap. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Baller having a dominant impact in this game. 
The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside or did Coach have some new ideas for them? And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Wiggins is out there with Leisman. Richard, you grew up in Arizona. Uh, what do you think of the Suns right now and what they've done the last two seasons? Oh, how much time do you got? All my <laughs> friends back home are just loving it. Chris Paul, he has helped change the culture with Monty Williams. Great job by the front office. They have put in so much young talent, and they have coached them up. They are a complete team. And like I said, how much time you got? We could do this all day. We could indeed. Plumley hits them both. Warriors leading by four. Thompson surveying the floor. That's to Curry from downtown. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Hornets now going the other way. And for Terry Rozier, all of his efficiency numbers are way up the last couple of years. Here's a guy who's just 37% from the field during his time in Boston. Curry gets to Green. With the drive inside. Curry passes to Green, and Green slams it in. Look at how effectively Green uses his body, disrupting the defense with the screen and making some room for himself. And the numbers of Terry Rozier, as you mentioned, they're getting better bit by bit, Greg. Scary Terry's three-point shooting is way up, and that helps big time. With, with experience, Rozier isn't forcing things offensively, becoming a much better decision-maker. Ball from long range. Weisman with the rebound. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Curry against Ball. Here's Green. And Green slams it in. And the basketball IQ that Curry possesses is special. Capable of shredding the defense in a screen roll. Outside, Ball. Passes it to Hayward. Shoots the three. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Green's got four rebounds in this game. And they have been cold coming out of the break. Only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Got to pick it up. Eisman. That one rolling around and runs out. Normally he drains that. Thompson against Rogier. And it's Ball in the corner. He kicks it to McDaniels. Six on the shot clock. Hayward outside. Wiggins with some nice D. Out of halftime, not the way you want to execute. Just one of five from the field. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. A three-pointer off the mark. What's MP sitting down for? Hornets trail by five. We need him in they the could game. use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. There's Ball with the three. That one doesn't drop. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Wiggins kicks to Kirk. Back to Wiggins. And again, it's the Warriors missing. For Charlotte, they've gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pictured the half started. Rozier the pass to Hayward. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You two players. And stolen by Hayward. The kick out to Rozier. To the middle. To end the drought. And there's the nice layup by Plumlee. And once Rozier spots it.
Reach in, reach in. Lock out that noise, MP. Let's go get this guy. You got this, MP. Andrew Wiggins and Poole subbed in for Stephen Curry. Warriors leading by three. Poole the pass to Green. Kuminga with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. To the paint. Trying to find Thompson. He gets it to him. And the layup falls. And the Warriors lead by five. You're not going to speed him up. Even when you get aggressive guarding Thompson, he stays in control. He's just so tough to cover. Oubre finds Jones. That one goes in. Jones has got his first points of the game. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Thompson outside. Down low. Here's Kaminga. Bloodso with the rebound. And so it's Bloodso. He brings it up for the Hornets. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Pass to Jones. He dishes it to Oubre. Lock at six. Over Thompson. That one wide left. Warriors leading by three. Poole on the wing. And the call will be against Emmanuel Moutier. That is his first foul of the game. Six seconds left in the third. A drive by Thompson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Kelly Oubre. And after all the injuries, Clay still's got a quick step. It's his first trip to the line. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like Two that, shot. you see why. And the first one drops. 
And when healthy, Clay remains a dynamic player, lights out scorer who often defends well. And so Thompson nails both of them. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. The third quarter comes to a close. Warriors ahead. So is out there with Ball. Then there's Oubre, and it's Hayward, and it's Plumley in at the center, filling out the middle. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Oubre can't. Warriors leading by five. Green finds Curry. Inside. And Wiseman gets it to go on the assist by Curry. Curry's got six assists now in the game. And for the Hornets, they're shooting 41% for the game. Ball, the bounce pass. Back to Plumley. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Bledsoe against Poole. Curry is inside. Excellent D there from Ball. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And the pass to Hayward. Plumley with a screen on Green. Here's Hayward. Warriors with the rebound. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. And Poole gets it to go. Just great awareness from Curry. So good at reading the floor and finding his open teammates. Oubre outside. Launches a three. Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got his fifth rebound in this one. Green kicks to Curry. Pool against Oubre. Wiseman sets a screen for Green. Pass to Wiseman. Five to shoot. And Tremont Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And the Hornets making a change here. Rogier's checked in. Hornets trail by seven. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. Warriors have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Wiggins, and he banks in the layup. Wiggins has got the lead up to nine now for the Warriors. And this is why Wiggins has become an efficient scorer, doing a much better job with his shot quality than he loves now to attack inside. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Warriors? First free throw is good. Taken third overall in 2020. LaMelo Ball is a unique player 
like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. Ball hits them both. Now here's Curry. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Poole kicks to Curry. Over ball. And the Warriors take on two more. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. Ball, no good. Warriors leading by nine. It's Curry outside. Hayward grabs the board. So Rogier will bring it up for the Hornets. Here's Ball. And such a nice move to make the basket work. Ball's got four points. Weisman the pass to Thompson. The shot, no good. And the Hornets now going the other way. Curry against Ball. Oubre outside. Unloads from nine. Nice jump shot, good. And now just a five-point Warrior lead. Crafty at cashing in from there. Oubre Jr. enjoys working on his interior game when given the opportunity. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Here's Ball. Money! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And Ball ready for these moments. Showing he wants the rock in his hands. Luck. Curry can't get it to go. 44 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Ball against Kerr. Ball, the pass to Rozier. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And he commits the intentional foul. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. Take a break. Take a 
the break. Two shots. It's the first, and that increases their lead to six. And some consider Curry to be the greatest shooter of all time. And by some, I mean all. And he is capable of getting hot in a hurry. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Thirty seconds left in the fourth quarter, and the Hornets miss again. Rozier with the steal, unloads, and once again off the mark by Charlotte. Curry against Ball, and here is Curry. You're selfish, MP. Horrible, man.
An interesting bit of news today about the ongoing Shep Owens MP drama. Nate White of the Daily Horn reports that the Charlotte Hornets have requested MP, their controversial 18th pick, participate in a PR initiative to win over skeptical fans. So no word yet on what exactly they have in mind to accomplish this goal, but J.J. Perk, what do you think of the notion that MP needs to win over this fan base with off-the-court activities? And here we are. It's more evidence of an organization in disarray. The reason fans booed MP is because he's not as good at basketball as Shep. These are some of the smartest fans in the game. You're not going to win them over with a PR stunt. For once, I agree with you, Perk. Wow. For once. Maybe I should rethink this. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, though, I'm, I'm all for getting involved in the community. Every pro athlete should give back. Amen. That's right. But, but if this team thinks MP can make the Shep comparisons go away by being a good guy off the court, they're in for a rude awakening. At the end of the day, NBA fans want wins. If MP plays winning basketball, they'll love him. If he doesn't, no amount of PR is going to change their minds. JJ, JJ, for once, you're speaking my language. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'll tell you one more thing. This young man needs to put in work. Leave him alone and let him hoop. Enough is enough already. Uh, we don't know what they asked him to do, so I'm not going to be right. too critical here, but I agree that basketball needs to be his main focus going forward. Preach. If he's going to change this city's mind, he's going to do it with results, not promises. That was refreshingly cordial, fellas. Don't get used to this, <laughs> You got it, big perk. Coming up, trade rumors. It's never too soon to speculate. But first, this quick commercial break. MP, you got a minute? Yeah, what's up? Over here. What's this I hear about you working on some win the city initiative? Look, man, I've been meaning to... I thought I was clear with you. Basketball comes first. End of story. I, it does. But I got a lot of people in my ear telling me I got to do other stuff too, man. What? Freddy? What did I tell you about him? I know what you said about Freddie, but just because you don't like him doesn't mean he's going to disappear. I told you, you talk to me if he gives you a hard time. He's not giving me a hard time, Othella. The things that I do outside of the court does not distract me from what I need to do on the court or for this team. I need you focused. I am focused. You are a critical building block for the future of this franchise. I get it. And I appreciate it. I really, really do. But you got to really trust me on this one. Because I got this. Adam's on the line for you, I... I'm serious. Let me know if Freddy gives you problems, here. Yeah? I promise you. You'll be the first one to know. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Too long, bro. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Who's first? Hey, John. What's good? I was wondering if I could ask you about Nate White's report that you've been asked to participate in PR initiatives by the team. Yeah, sure. Well, nice I question. think it sounds like a really cool idea, and I'm wondering if you can talk about maybe some of the things you might be doing or some of the things you might be looking forward to.
Hey, uh, I'd just like to clear something up really quickly. Um, this isn't just some cynical marketing ploy. You know, it's a legitimate desire to do good in this community. Okay, thanks for the clarification. Yeah, for sure. Um, and to answer your question, uh, there's, there's not one thing that I'm excited by. You know, it's just an idea that I get to use my platform, you know, my position in society to help people. You know, it's always been one of the most exciting things about being a pro athlete to me, at least. You know, so as soon as I got to the league, you know, I made sure I had a plan in place to go by doing that. And the organization has helped you with that? Without a doubt. Um, you know, they've let me know that I've got their full support, which I'm so thankful for. You know, but it's up to me and my team to drive this. So I think that's really cool as well. Uh, you know, if it was them telling me what to do, I could see why people have an issue with it. But it's not like that at all. <laughs> that's great. Sounds like the city will be lucky to have you around, MP. Thanks, man. Uh, seems like... All right, see you guys later. Interesting bit of news today about the ongoing Shepo and so no word yet on what exactly they have in mind to account. Right, right on, on time. time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you know I'm here to see Adela, right? Indeed I do, yeah. and he's ready for you if you want to cool, head cool. up. Cool, Thanks, Olive. Yeah, of course. So... How are things? I can't complain. That's good. I thought you might be... Anxious? Confused? Upset? Those sound like complaints to me. I mean, I didn't say that's how I feel. I'm just trying to guess what you think I should be feeling. I mean, obviously, I met my goals, and I'm still not starting, so... I mean, that's how normal people will feel, I think. Not me, though. I'm good. <clears throat> Is this funny to you, MP? Nope. It's the farthest thing from it. 
Now, is this something that you want to ask me instead of just staring at me? You've been doing everything right up until this point. Don't start making the wrong kind of waves now. No, nah, I'm really trying to be as respectful as I can, Othella. But I feel like I've been giving you the truth and you haven't been giving me... You've been giving me nothing from day one. I mean, from my first day with this team, I have done everything that you've asked. And you insisted that I follow your lead. And I did it, man. I did it. I understand. I didn't pay attention to all the off-course stuff that Phil and, and, and... I understand. Look, these kind of things happen. I'm not happy about it either. I'm not starting, man. Sit down. Let's talk about it. This is just the business, MP. I get that. I get the business part of it. But I'm really upset at the fact that you have me sitting here feeling like I'm doing something wrong when all I'm trying to do is help the team. You got people in the front office that can't come to a mutual, mutual decision. We're supposed to be a team, man. Right? You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I read the room wrong. I appreciate your apology. It's not like me to hold grudges, but I'm good. I'm good. Just do what Freddy asked for now, all right? I'm gonna see what I can do long term. I'm good. I can do it myself. I can make connections within the community myself. Thank you, though. Very well. Seems like we're on the same page. Anything else? Oh, I'm good, man. Be good, man. Be good. Okay. See you around. Yeah. MP. Keep your head up. Your time's coming. I promise. Bring it in, everyone. We have got to find a way to create more scoring opportunities in transition. All right, let's go.
ready to lose. Sir, sir. Way to grab. Way to finish strong. Let's set up this next drill. Hey, right you guys the ones who are gonna be losing today. That's too easy. Let's go! 
practice today. Make sure you get some reps in before you leave the gym. Just like that. Yes. Game time. Game time. Yo, they not about to be ready. He about to go home up this.
Great game.